got two furnaces here twin together quarter of a million BTUs this looks like a three-fourths inch line here probably kind of wimpy but uh, this unit was built in 1985 I need to get in here and vacuum some of this out I just lit the pilot lights a few minutes ago trying to see how it's burning you can look in there and kind of see if it's burning well enough looks pretty good I usually get a vacuum cleaner at the beginning of the year and stick it down in there and uh, get all the rust out of there pilot lights over here this is the gas for the pilot light this is the sensor and uh, if it starts burning you got no pressure in the, the uh, thermal couple and it'll shut it off this is the older type you've got an on position off pilot on you turn it to pilot hold it down for a minute or so after you've lit this and then the pressure builds up into the uh, thermal couple and it'll keep it open and you turn it to on uh, the solenoid here commands this on this is a two-stage uh, furnace when there's a big delta T, you have both burners on, and when it approaches a set point, this guy will kick off. So you got an eighth of a million BTUs on this guy, and here's the other one that's an eighth of a million BTUs. It's put in in 1985, it's pretty old for a furnace. Got a stack here, stack here, or twinned up here. Above here is the air conditioner. It's two five ton units. It's kind of a mess to get into those coils. That's kind of a bad deal. There's your shutoff valve for the gas. Looks like that's a one inch line. And this looks like it's a three-fourths. Yeah, that's three-fourths inch there. Reduces it down even more. This is real close to the meter in the back. What brand is this thing? This is a carrier is what this is come in this weekend and clean out the dust here on here. I usually get a vacuum cleaner and old Electrolux. Go in there, vacuum out all the crud. It's actually burning really well. Warm the place up. Here's a thermostat that's for heat only we set up. This is the heat side. It's got two mercury uh, vials here. If I turn this over here real slowly there's the first slug that kicks one burner on. It's got a big delta T. You keep on turning it and there's the second burner. So these are the two. It's also he has a two stage here on when we ran. Uh, now I've got digital thermostats over here for cooling. We had these for about 12 years. This is a Lux 9000 but on the heater we don't really use heat that much so 
uh, we just turn it on when we need to. When you get very close, I'll move this back. There. Now it's only got one burner going. And if I do the man for all uncle pan like this, move the camera real quick. There it is. That's the burner on the right. Uh, that's a quarter of a million BTUs. It's running there. The one on the left isn't going. So that's when you just have a small differential. And if you get need a lot of extra heat, the second mercury vial will kick in when you have a large delta T. We'll kick this one. So right now it's only putting in uh, one of these. They mix together, so this isn't such a big bad deal. But uh... now with it running, I'll increase the delta T a little bit more. There's the second slug kick in. So these are both commanded the mercury vials. We'll do the man from Uncle Pan. Move real quick. Here we go. Now they're both going. There's the one on the left going. The one on the right. So we're burning some natural gas here. Having some fun. Just kick the heater on for the first time of the year. This heater tends to last longer if you vacuum them out. This is on the ground floor, so it's easy to do. I haven't done it yet, but just wanted to see how it's running here. Heating the place up. This is not, this is an older heater, so it's not always pure to say it's not very efficient. Got some heat going up up here, going up the roof. For all fairness, it's not really worth the, uh, only turn kick the heater on a few times a year, so it's not really worth repairing when we get a new air conditioner I'll probably get new furnaces but right now it would never pay for itself now I'm going to move the thermostat back now it's only running on one moved it back here both of them are off and if I can pan real quick go here like this now both of these are off. The way this works on this one, there's a circuit board down inside here. Hidden in this box. And what that does is that is going to run it uh, for another minute and a half just to draw the heat out of the uh, unit, not to waste it. Kind of a rat's nest of wires. But it works. Here I got one of the covers on the right side carrier and I got to put the one still on the left. Normally they're always on. I just took them off just to shoot this dumb little video. There's the pilot light going. You may wonder what this is for. Pilot look. That's because with this deal here I get tired if you get a really strong wind, really, really strong. I know exactly where to look here for the pilot. There it is, pilot look. And so I get tired of taking the covers off. Every now and then what will happen is that maybe once or twice a year with an extremely strong breeze, sometimes this guy will get knocked out and then this one will go on. And what will happen is it's only to kick the heater on when you got a big differential when it tries to kick the left one on. This will be on as uh, not putting any heat out, so the fan will just be running. And what happens on that is these, these thermal couples over here, they get caked up with some crap on the, uh, on the element. Sometimes they go in there with a screwdriver and get the junk off of them. And then they tend to stay a little bit more robust for... Uh, um, the heating on it, but you get a lot of wind it'll come through here in this older building It'll go ahead and knock that pilot out 
that probably happens once every two years or something. But I've learned to live with it.